It's NASA's biggest, heaviest, and most sophisticated vehicle ever sent to Mars. Perseverance rover marks the culmination of decades of robotic exploration of the red planet. This is unlike any robot we've sent to Mars before because it has the purpose of astrobiology. We are tr trying to find evidence of ancient life on another world, in this case, Mars. Perseverance rover launches on July 30th and is expected to touch down on Mars in February 2021. Its mission? To search for signs of ancient life, explore Mars' geology and climate, and collect rock and sediment samples for possible return to Earth. So here's what we know from previous rovers. We know that Mars used to be covered in water. At least the northern hemisphere of Mars was two thirds covered in ocean. We know that Mars used to have a very thick atmosphere and it used to have a magnetosphere that protected it from the radiation of deep space. So what we learned is that Mars was at one time habitable. In fact, it was a lot like Earth. And the question is, we know it was habitable. Was it in fact inhabited? And that is what we don't know. And so we built a rover that is gonna enable us to ask and answer those very important questions. NASA says this new chapter of exploration will also pave the way for human missions to the moon and Mars. One of the experiments flying aboard Perseverance, called MOXIE, aims to figure out how to draw oxygen from the thin Martian atmosphere. This technology could eventually be used by crews for breathing. It's a big challenge. This is the ninth time we've landed on Mars, so we do have experience with it but I will also tell you there are some burning holes on Mars uh, because we had to learn some things in order to be able to do what we're able to do today. NASA chose the name Perseverance from among the 28,000 essays submitted during the Name the Rover contest. The space agency says the term epitomizes the scientific spirit of overcoming challenges. NASA plans to use the moon and its Artemis program as a springboard to get to Mars sometime in the 2030s.